In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix not being able to type in the Windows 10 search. So if I open up the start menu and then I try and search something, so I'm just trying to type in test, you can probably hear my keyboard right now, it's not allowing me to type in anything. So I cannot search my computer using the start menu which is very frustrating. So the first thing you're going to want to do to try and fix this issue is just simply restart your computer. I don't know if you've tried this already, but just restarting your computer will give Windows 10 that refresh that it needs, which will hopefully resolve the issue as it could just be one of the services or something had become stuck and it's just a one-off thing. So restart your computer and then see if that fixed the problem. If that still didn't help, then the next thing we want to do is just ensure Windows 10 is up to date. To do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You then need to click on settings and we now need to click on update and security. And you now want to click on check for updates button. Once you've done that, if there are any updates available, go ahead and let Windows install them. And also, as you can see, I currently have an optional quality update available. If you have one of these available as well, go ahead and download install that update as that might help fix the issue as well. If you're still unable to open up the start menu and search, then the next thing you want to do is go back to this section in the window settings and we now want to click on troubleshoot. You now need to click on additional troubleshooters and we now need to scroll down until you find search and indexing. You now need to click onto this button and we now need to click on run the troubleshooter and this will now search to see if it can detect any issues. We need to select the option at the top saying can't start a search or see results. We then need to go ahead and press next and it will now see if it can find any problems and as you can see it says Windows search is not working. So we now want to click on try these repairs as an administrator. We now need to select the top option again can't start a search or see results and then press next it will now try and fix the issue. As you can see, it now says fixed, which is great. We can go ahead and close this down and we can now open up the start menu again and see if we can now type. As you can see, unfortunately, it hasn't actually resolved the issue for my computer. So that means we can now move on to the next step. But if it did fix the problem for you, then happy days, that's great. So the next thing we want to do is right click on the taskbar we now want to go to task manager. We now want to click on file and we now want to go run new task. You now need to type in msconfig and then click create this task with admin privileges and then press OK. You now need to go across to services and you now need to click on hide all Microsoft services and you now want to disable all these services. Once you have disabled everything in the list, press apply and restart your computer. Obviously, just make sure there's nothing in here like your antivirus or something, because you don't want to disable that service. Just keep that running. But everything else that you don't need, as you can see here, I've got like Google Update Services, Origin, Steam, Rockstar. I don't need any of those services running at the moment. So we can disable all of them and then restart your computer and see if that fixed the issue with the start menu. If it didn't, then the next thing we want to do is go back to our task manager, but this time we want to click on startup. You now need to just go through the list here and disable anything you do not need to launch when you sign into Windows. So as you can see, there's lots of things here. I've got Skype, we've got the Xbox app, your phone and stuff. Just right click on something and then disable it. So go through the list, disable everything you don't need, restart your computer and then see if that fixed the start menu search not working, as one of these programs might be conflicting, causing it not to work. If that didn't help fix the issue, then the next thing we want to do is open up File Explorer. You now need to go to your C drive. You now need to open up the Windows folder, and you now need to go to System32 folder. You now need to find a file called CTFMO. So if you just type in CT, and then you will see it here, CTFMON. We need to double click on this file. You can now go ahead and see if you can open up the start menu and search. So if I now try and search, there we go. Happy days. 
that actually resolved the issue for my computer. So the reason I wasn't able to search on my computer was because this file wasn't running. So if this did fix the issue for you as well, go ahead and restart your computer and see if you can now still search. If you're not able to search, then it might pay you to just add a shortcut to your desktop to this file. So right click on the file, go copy, and then just paste it on your desktop as a shortcut. And then until Windows releases an update to fix the problem on your computer, you will just have to keep running this file. So if that didn't fix the problem for you, then there's still a few more things we can do. And that is to now right click on your taskbar and then go to task manager. You now need to click on services and we now need to click on open services. The next thing you want to do is just click anywhere and then type in T and we now need to find the time broker service. You now need to open up this service and as you can see mine says disabled and it currently says stop. So this is something else that could cause your Windows Start menu to not allow you to search. So to re-enable the Time Broker service, all we need to do is open up the Task Manager again. You now need to click on File, Run New Task. We now need to type in Reg Edit, and you now need to tick this box here to run it as an administrator and then press OK. So we now need to expand HKey Local Machine. You now need to expand System. And we then need to expand current control set. You now need to expand services. And we now need to click somewhere and then press T. And you now need to go down to the Time Broker SVC. And you now need to double click on the start. We now need to change the value to 3 and then press OK. And you now need to restart your computer. And this will now re-enable the Time Broker service in Windows 10. And with a bit of luck, that will hopefully fix your start menu, allowing you to search again. If your time broker wasn't disabled, then go back to the services, open up the time broker, and then press stop, and then press start. So as you can see, mine is currently stopped. I can't actually enable it because I need to restart my computer first, but press stop and then press start to reactivate the time broker in case it come across an issue and stopped or messed up for some reason. So that is it. That is how you resolve the Windows Start menu not allowing you to search. If you're still not able to search, then unfortunately the only other thing you can really do is reset Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and it did help you out. If it did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.